Jake of all. All right, so I'm gonna try a little different format here. Uh, messing around with some ideas. I've got a couple extra cameras so I can try to get some better formats for YouTube and some better stuff for Instagram. Uh, got a whole bunch of goodies. I wanted to go over that. I'm gonna sort of do a vlog style, uh, but I, like other people, hate that word vlog, video log. Why not just a diary? I don't know. Tell me what you think about that. So, I've got a couple things. Uh, some packages came, some deals. Uh, Kaizen foam stuff. Some other stuff in here. I'm going to go over that. I've got some cherry that just came in. I'm going to show you that. Uh, I've got to make some shelves for a 3D printer stand that I'm building. Uh, to, well, I mean, if you guys don't know, I, I 3D print stuff. Uh, really appreciate all the orders. And I really appreciate a lot of the patience that you guys have given me. Uh, we have been busy. Uh, my wife, Jake's girl, uh, some people call her the Packout Princess. Uh, we are working around the clock uh, to try to get the prints out. I have scored a couple deals on the local Facebook Marketplace and got some new stuff. I am testing some ideas out. Right now the printer's running. Uh, we're thinking about getting another printer. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna to try to say oh, a little bit less. So let's get right to it. Facebook Marketplace, without a battery, but I got the Dremel. So next time I have an order for some Dremel pack out bits, I'll print the tests out. And if they, they're not perfect, they'll be in my case. Otherwise, uh, those of you that want some Dremel bits, hopefully those are coming soon. They'll probably be towards the end because we really gotta get some orders out, but I did score a deal on that. That was nice. Uh, this is an eBay deal that uh, Packing Out told me about, so I've got those. Hopefully those look good. Uh, same guy, M12 soldering iron. I have really wanted this guy. Uh, I have a nice soldering setup uh, that I will go over and probably another time, but I have been building some electrician, some low voltage, some random uh, stuff like that, Packouts, and I really wanted to have one of these in there. I got just some clean up and stuff. I didn't buy that. I like to try to keep a clean shop. It's sort of a mess. We'll hopefully we can go for that. This, this is something that we all <laughs> try to get our hands on. Now you might say, why are there three? I like to keep one at the house or one in my toolbox and then one over on the shelves. But there's three. So I had this for a while in my head. I had a Home Depot near me that said they could get them, they got them, and they just couldn't find them. So this one, watch out on Instagram, is going up as a giveaway. And it is open to Canada this time. United States and Canada. Take a look, the Jake of all on Instagram. You'll find it. Uh, maybe if it's popular enough, I'll do one on YouTube as well. But stay tuned for that. So yay, mine, somebody's. You guys don't follow you guys know what that means uh well maybe you don't but look in there look at that part number fuse 27 fix i've got a 2013 f-150 raptor and that's been giving me a pain you don't know why i was talking about pack out for dremels that's why because that's a mess so i'm gonna get that out and into some of the pack up bins Something like that. I did show on an Instagram story this guy. Uh, maybe it was YouTube. But this is the replacement one that Ohio Power Tool just let me come in and grab. But if you take a look, see how quick that clipped in? So much better. All of the attachments work great that way now. So thank you, Ohio Power Tool. I gotta build a pack out case for that. And uh, that subject probably has to do with this box, which I will open up here in a second. Uh, Kaizen Foam, Brian, thank you very much. This is supposed to be some of the new stuff. Uh, so you guys will probably want to see that. I'll probably do some separate build videos on these on how I set them up. So we will get into that in a minute. All right, so eBay, uh, packing out. 
he posted about these and about how you can get yourself a deal on some of these. I mean, I know that there are a lot of people on some of the Milwaukee groups talking about these are useless. If you don't have a phone with the Milwaukee app, it will not register these. Uh, so if somebody steals your things off the site and nobody's phone is nearby, you're not going to even know that they're gone. But uh, and then, of course, at $20 a piece, that sort of seems like a gimmick. You, you know, why would you use it? Uh, I got these for like $2.50 on eBay. So if you all uh, are wanting them, uh, good luck. Because between me and packing out, I think we bought most of them. But there you go. Check out eBay. Uh, I think it's a great deal. I don't have a great reason to have these, but when they're that cheap, I say why not? But there you go, look at that. There's 10 of them, new in the box. They still have the little pull tab. So I'll probably put together a little something showing one of these getting registered. So thanks again, packing out. I really appreciate it. We'll be back in a second. All right. This guy is for you. These two are mine. Uh, I will do some projects with them, but for now, I just want to get mine out of the wrapper so that I'm not tempted to give more of them away. I'm, I'm fond of that. I like that when I'm doing small stuff, it's perfect. This one looks like no problem sitting in a pocket. There it is, it's official. These two are mine. Uh, you guys, again, check me out on Instagram, the Jacob All. I'll have one of these up in a giveaway coming up soon. So, let's get on to another one. What we are going to do. All right, so, what's in the box? The big box. Let us take a look. Of course, I've seen a couple new posts where Brian has got some of these that will fit for the tools. Oh, oh yeah. There we go. That's for the thicker half width pack out. There's another one. Okay, actually, this one, hold on. This is a right side, right? Left, look at that, school paid off. That's for the big guys. Go into this. Aha, yes. That is for some of the thicker pack outs, and I'll show that off here in a second. And another one. So, obviously, I'm going to be busy building some stuff with these. And I decided to bite the bullet and get this guy in place of my little old ancient one. And seeing as that I've got now a good bit of this stuff to build, I went ahead and got one of those long reach markers. I have a feeling that is gonna make things a little bit easier. Uh, so I'll probably post some build videos of me using some of this stuff uh, for some of these pack outs. I've got some of the bigger, which is the top one that you get in the kit. The three kit, kit uh, the ones without the clear lids, that's what these ones are for. Uh, jigsaws, routers, uh, po and the possibilities are endless, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six or seven of those. Uh, so I wanted to just get a couple at a time to not bleed the bank account. And I uh, wanted to try them out. I tried a little hack that I saw where people use some of the Harbor Freight, like weightlifting pads or like anti-fatigue mats, and that was miserable. They're too thin, and by the time you get it this thick, uh, you spent an entire day wasting away with that. So, yeah, these, that's set up for your center and your clear lids. That's set up for your single side one and your thick ones. So, I can't wait to get this going. I, of course, already want the one that fits this thin so that I can put my tools in it. So Brian, hook me up, come on. Uh, 
Yeah. And uh, that's it. All right. Did a bunch of openings. All that's done with, out of the way. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, the Jacob Ball. I'm giving away some stuff. I'm giving away one of these. So at this point now I gotta actually get some work done uh, because if I don't do it, my wife's gonna be angry. Cause she thinks I'm out here working and not doing this crap. So I'm gonna go over there and grab some of that wood that I was like, no, I'm not gonna throw that out. And I need to tear the crap off of it and I gotta rip it down on the saw. So here we go. We're gonna go in fast mode. me to turn the table into something that it wasn't uh, something else a different type of table and there was a bunch of extra so I saved these and I just wanted all the screws and stuff out and run it through the table saw I need to cut it down to size I'm building a shelf uh, for a 3d printer to sit on because I've got a wire unit so I'll rip it down on here and I'll be back So, we're all cut, it's ready to go. Uh, I'm probably gonna just, so I don't put my fingers up, sand this down. And this is just gonna sit on the bottom of one of those little pop together wire shelves. Uh, I'll run it through, like I said, clean those edges up, leave it like it is, it's gonna work. It's just gonna be holding a 3D printer, nothing else. I'll show you that installed. I'll probably post a couple photos on that over on Instagram. If you guys have any questions, shoot me a message, comment, like, subscribe, share, uh, give your neighbor a hug. But I think I just see all text message pop up on my screen. So I am probably done for the night besides standing. So I will leave you with a nice little space speed of me standing this and I'll see you the next time. Peace.